Hi guys, this is Mike. In this Cinema 4D tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the shrink wrap deformer. What I'm going to show you is how to project new topology onto another 3D object. Go to Primitives and choose a sphere. And then for the shrink wrap deformer, we're going to go to Deformers here and then go to Shrink Wrap. Now for the shrink wrap, the former, what we'll do is we'll take an object, which will be our source, and then we'll project that onto another object called our target. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sphere, and you can see that our topology for this sphere. And if we're making something, say, like a character or a character face, we want the uh, topology that will be able easily to deform as uh, a face would normally deform. And so we would want topology that would um, work better than what we have currently. So this is just one example of what, how you could use the shrink wrap deformer. So we have our object, but we're going to need an object in order to project onto. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my front view, which is F4 on the keyboard, and I'm going to make sure I don't have my sphere selected. So I'm going to click off that, and I'm going to go to my polygon pen. So I'm going to go to model mode, and I'm going to go to my polygon pen right here. And I'm going to zoom in a bit onto my object. And let's say for an example, we're making a character and I want to have quality edge flow that goes around our object to show, say, the eyes. Now what I would do is I would start creating a polygon loop. We create a loop of polygons and just start making sort of a ring that would go around the eyes. So what I'm doing is I'm just making these polygons, extruding out using the command button, and click and drag and extruding out these, these lines using this poly pen. and just shaping these up a little bit as would be the normal workflow from when you're making topology for something like this. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just kinda adjusting some of these points around a little bit, making them a little bit more even. Okay, and then I would extrude out for the space between our character's eyes, say right here, and just kind of move this into place. So I won't go through this entire process of making a face but what I can do is give you an idea of what you would look at if you were creating a shape, say sort of like a Halloween mask in a way, that would loop around an object. And so I'm just gonna space this out a little bit. So I made this one side, and now what I want to do is I want to make sure that these points line up in the center. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to my rectangle selection tool, select these points, I then want to go to right click 
and I'm going to go to set point value or MU on your keyboard and here in your attributes manager you have a few coordinates we're going to go to the X and we're going to go to set for the coordinate system we're going to go to world and we're just going to apply and that's going to snap those points to our center line next I want to go to symmetry object and place our polygon that we just created into the symmetry object now we have this symmetrical object mirrored over to the other side I then want to make this symmetry object editable so select your symmetry make editable now let's go to our perspective mode F1 on your keyboard I'm going to pull out our polygon and if I hide my sphere you can see our object I'm going to delete this null since we don't need this and I'll name our polygon eyes so we have our object which is our source and we have our eyes which will be excuse me I have it backwards I have our eyes which is our source topology or geometry and then we'll project that onto our target which will be the sphere so we're going to take our shrink wrap object and you're going to see that we have a target we're going to put our sphere into the target and we're going to take our shrink wrap and put that underneath our eyes now if I go to my sphere and I go to my basic tab we have this option called x-ray so I can select that and that's going to give us a, an x-ray of our object so you can see our geometry isn't quite <laughs> exactly what we want so what we want to do is adjust our sphere a little bit so that our object snaps to its correct position so now you can see that we have our geometry of our sphere which isn't exactly the best geometry to use when say making a character it's just not going to deform correctly and when I say deform move make uh, expressions with the eyes such as blink or frown or smile we're not going to have good edge flow for that so we would need something to uh, create a better topology and a great way to make geometry whether you're making a character or even hard surface geometry is being able to create it in a flat plane and get your topology exactly the way that you want it and then deform that and put that onto an object so this is where the shrink wrap comes in and gives you a shortcut instead of moving all of these points into a position manually each one individually and move the edges and polygons you can use this shrink wrap to quickly place your geometry and project it onto your target which is going to be your sphere in this case and you can still man manipulate your geometry of your target using something such as a FFD a freeform deformer and start working it with that way and shaping your geometry or you can already have your geometry already shaped and then apply your shrink wrap to your new topology I put a link in the description to download project files you can also go to astronomic3d.com to download project files from this tutorial and all the tutorials that I've made so far Thanks for watching.